Hello, this is Swad Walker, pastor of the Shrine Christian Center of Houston. This is another edition of our ministerial video blog. And I want to get right to it. Um, I'm sure you've already heard George Zimmerman, the, the killer, the murderer of Trayvon Martin, is seeking to profit off of that murder by auctioning off the gun, the weapon used to take the life of one of our children. In one of the most ultimate and shameful acts of disrespect that I can remember, and Lord have mercy, there have been so many shameful acts of disrespect heaped upon our people, but he's just one. Then there's this South Carolina man that killed two black men, slow cooked them, and then was released from jail on bond. And this was after giving authorities two or three different versions of events didn't even have one story to tell holes in his story yet he's out on bond these dis these acts of violence and incredible disrespect to our people are not just an affront to those who were the front line victims they're an affront to each and every one of us and it reminds me of something that the presiding bishop of our church said. He said that we're actually, as black people, involved in two different struggles. We're involved in a struggle for self-determination, just like all people. We want the things that make life uh, good and whole and healthy and secure. Health, happiness, prosperity. We want to build those institutions, have those communities that give us life and breathe life into our children, provide protection for our elders, our families, all those things. Self-determination, that's one level of the struggle. But there's another level of the struggle, and that's a basic fight for our humanity. When someone can go online and try to auction off a weapon that was used to kill one of our children after he has spent the past few years demonizing one of our children, that is attacking our humanity when a human being, a person, can kill two black men and then cook them and not even be held in a jail cell, that is a slap to the face of us, our ancestors. That is an attack on our humanity. And throughout history, whenever our humanity has been attacked, it has done, it is, that has taken place to open up the door for even more disrespect, more violence, more inhumanity to us. We've got to fight on both fronts. And we've got to ask us, well, before we even ask any other questions, we have to make sure that we are holding these people accountable so that that disrespect stops. And I'm talking about George Zimmerman. I'm talking about this dude in South Carolina that killed and then cooked two black men. I'm talking about anyone else that attacks our humanity because they're attacking us and our children and our parents and our seniors and our wives and all those that we love. We got to hold them accountable. Then we've got to hold all those folk who allow them to get away with this. We've got to hold them accountable too. Whether we're talking about the judicial system, whether we're talking about members of the media, whether we're talking about politicians that open up the door and allow this to happen, we've got to hold them accountable. But if we're really going to be honest, we can't let the accountability stop there. We got to bring it home to us and ask ourselves the question, what are we doing as a people or what are we not doing as a people that allows for this to continue? And then we've got to take action and ask ourselves and find the answer. What can I do or what things must I stop doing so that this disrespect will be no more? Yeah, we have to fight for self-determination, institutional power. But we've also got to fight for our humanity. Look, if you're in the Houston area and want to come to a progressive, challenging, uplifting worship service, we'd love to have, have you. We're at 53, excuse me, 07 Martin Luther King Boulevard between OST and Griggs. Hey, and if you're in Atlanta, or if you're in Detroit, we have churches there too. In Atlanta, we're on Ralph David Abernathy, 944, I believe.
if I remember correctly. And in Detroit, the Mother Shrine, we're at Liver, Livernois, Linwood, and Hogarth. It's been a while since I've been in Detroit. Uh, but we'd love to have you. But whether you come to worship with us as members of the Pan-African Orthodox Christian Church or you worship somewhere else, hey, man, look, we love you and we're with you and we need each other. Until next time, this is a Swad Walker, Black Lives Matter.